How's it going everyone? What I'm going to do today is show you the range finder for Battlefield 4, how to equip it, how to use it, how to interpret it, all that other stuff. Now that being said, it's very straightforward. Anyone out there can figure it out, but I'm going to show you basically like I always have for any other video, step by step of how to do it so nothing's overlooked, so that way you can't possibly say, oh well you didn't show that, so it's simple. Uh, I put the muzzle brake on the M4 because that's going to be using here just to show you, for example, because it does harm automatic fire, but you have a bolt action so you won't have to worry about automatic fire. Uh, but other than that, it's really simple. You equip the rangefinder and it's already on the left side of your gun. It's already showing you right there. I'm using the 8x scope here. I see a sniper in the distance here. Now what you do is when you scope in, in your scope, off to the right of your crosshair, you're going to see a little rectangle that says RNG in range. It'll be a red letters. It'll be in red letters, and that's the range. That shows you how far away the target is. Uh, you click V at the bottom, because I'm on PC, to dope your scope. And when it says zero there, to the left side, which was in the blue, uh, that uh, that's showing you where what the range is you've zeroed your scope to. So you, you figure out the range by looking in that right rectangle. That'll tell you how far the target is. You set your scope on the bottom. You dope it, in other words. And it'll show you how what you've set it to in the blue rectangle, which is the zero. And then all you have to do is aim the, the crosshair directly at your target, and the gun does the rest. It really is that simple. In the case you saw uh, earlier, uh, and I'll probably break it down in the video here, what you do is simple. Once you've set the range, all you have to do, like in that particular case there, uh, the target was about 425 meters away. I set my, I dope my scope to 400. So all you basically have to do is with the scope account for what that 25 meter difference would be. So in this case, I have to aim slightly higher because it's 425 versus the scope that's doped to 400. So you aim for about that 25 meter difference higher, and the gun does the rest. The bullet drop, you won't even have to account for it. Uh, on the one side though, it does sort of take away from the variety of sniper rifles. Uh, so as many sniper rifles as there are in the game, and as much as their range is incredible, uh, unless you're going for, say, 2,000 meter shots, uh, for the most part, which I guess DICE would, uh, and, and I don't even know if that would count, because if, if DICE actually decides to make all the sniper rifles equal range, just varying bullet drops, then it wouldn't matter. You could use any gun, and as long as you actually dope your scope and set up the range finder appropriately, which is pretty much idiot proof from what you've seen, all you have to do is point and shoot. Uh, but I'll tell you, it's a lot of fun. As much as it does take a lot of the skill out of figuring out the range and accounting for bullet drop that Battlefield 3 was known for, as I've shown you here, it's such a fun thing to do. Uh, it makes, and plus the thing is, I think it makes sniping far more viable. When you have people that are, when you can make basically the community, which is going to be choosing recon whether or not people like it or not to play, if you can make them more viable snipers that are contributing to the team by sort of making sniping a lot easier, that's only going to benefit each team. So, in, in effect, I think it was an actual good move by making this a very easy system to learn and use. Like, I didn't need it before, but this is going to make me that much better. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. That was a really quick breakdown of how to do it. Uh, if you want to see more, post in the comments. And